Right, we're just going to cover some very basic stuff on this uh, Rockseed RS305P. It's uh, it's got some quirks, that's for sure. And there's a couple of uh, there's a mode that I don't even really know what you would use it for. But let's just power this up. Hopefully the camera's going to pick this up okay. Looking at the screen of the camera, these uh, look sort of yellow, but they are actually a, a nice orangey red. Um, so, yeah, to choose uh, one of these presets, you need to press it twice to select it. Press it once and it lights and you can edit it. But press it twice and it will actually select it. And whatever you've just dialed in will uh, store there when it's flashing. And then you can go and select it. Um, and that's the same with uh, all of these. Um, if you want to set the current, you can press it so it's lit and then scroll down by pressing the button here and you can alter in left and right will shift you across. You can do it just on this by going down, but it's sometimes quicker just to uh, use these. And once you're done there, you can go down here. Now this is a weird one. This uh, allows you to set seconds uh, and it will supply that power for that many seconds. And in this list uh, uh, mode, it will do the voltages and seconds that each one of these has individually been set to and you can let's, let's, oh, let me show you I don't know what the hell you would use this for but let's press and hold list okay so uh, let's say we want to do use 3.2 volts 16 volts and then 32 volts you see the seconds here 12 seconds, 20 seconds, no seconds. So now if you press the on button, which is uh, down here, it's going to count down the 16 volts, whatever I set. And then it's going to change voltages and count down for again however many seconds I set. And back to the beginning. So uh, press and hold list to get back out of that. So we had zero seconds there. So let's add five seconds. And we'll just save that. Go back into list. And we'll do the same things again. Power on down the bottom here. So five seconds. <laughs> Change of voltage. 11 seconds, whatever it was. So I'm sure somebody in the comments can tell me what on earth you would use that for because I can't think of uh, any particular purpose for ramping up and down through voltages. <laughs> so, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> Obviously you can set that to 9,999 and if you want to you can set it to, uh, to zero. Let's just stop that. That is just uh, a bit weird. Now I would have liked, I think, to when, you're, when you've selected your voltage that this stays lit, perhaps in a different colour to the setting mode. So 
So yeah, just bear in mind the two modes there. If you've selected it like that and the light's off, you can press and go through each thing, but you cannot go down to the next line. It's actually got to be lit like that and then you press the button and you can scroll around so 10 seconds 3.3 .3 volts say half amp uh, if you leave it for a few seconds it will power off from that mode but it stores it 3.3 .3, half an amp and uh, off Turn it on, and there we go. So it's a bit weird, but uh, it seems to be okay. I'm going to take it apart, we'll have a closer look at it. I'm also going to look at installing this software again, which is not uh, the simplest thing to do. Um, the CD that it comes with, I'm not sure is uh, is working properly but you can download it from uh, the Amazon listing uh, but I'll show you how to install that in a minute but uh, yeah interesting uh, quirk I'm also not massively keen on the fact that if you're if you've got a um, 32 volt setting or whatever and then you connect to something else I suppose you'd have to be a bit more careful the point was that if you change from 32 down to you see that voltage dropping down well it's actually applying those voltages as it drops from 32 down to 3.3 that's actually coming out of the uh, the sockets at the bottom so if you connected that to something quite sensitive uh, from 32 and then um, well why would you, that'd be pretty stupid but it would have been better if it um, just paused the switch into the output uh, until that voltage has dropped and uh, stabilised you see, if you connect a meter up to that you can actually see the voltages dropping so it would have been better to uh, just delay that coming out of the outputs in my opinion, but uh, yeah, I'm still pleased with it. I actually put it to use uh, yesterday when we were investigating this uh, parking mode. Um, fan true uh, piece of gear, and uh, we'll probably do a follow up video on this. Uh, it's supposed to be an under voltage protection device. Um, and as you see, I had it set to the 11.6. I also had it set to the 12 volt. Uh, setting and uh, on the 12 volt setting I had dropped this voltage down to 11 and this was still feeding 5 volts out the uh, end so um, yeah you certainly don't want your car battery going down to 11 volts it would be ridiculous um, in fact 12 volts is uh, too low as far as I'm concerned so we're going to um, show that later on another video and then we're probably going to pop this open if we can without damaging it and then it can go back to uh, Amazon uh, as completely unsuitable, which is a bit of a disappointment. Anyway, just look, just a quick uh, look at that and uh, some quirky bits. Uh, there is also, I'm just, I'm just going to show you this. There is a service mode, and uh, let me just adjust the camera very slightly. So from off, press and hold that soft standby and turn on. And here we go. Uh, there's certain things you can change. We've got bleep on and off, so this just bleeps when you touch the buttons. Um, can't remember how we swap to other things. Oh yeah, we just press that. I don't know what all these are. Uh, are. So the physical address of the device for the USB will cover that in a minute. You shouldn't have to alter it, but um, you can uh, if required. And you use these buttons to go up and down through addresses. Uh, I didn't need to change that, but I did need to change the COM port in the software. But that's a simple thing. So yeah, bleep on. Uh, none of this is stored until you power off. And now. 
we should be getting a bleep on each key press. Yeah, so pretty straightforward. But there seems to be a little or oh, to no documentation on uh, the servicing mode, uh, so I wouldn't be tampering with very much, or at least you know write down the values first. Uh, but it is there. And there we go, no more bleep. So, yeah, there we go. Just thought that might be interesting. And we'll do another video now on the, the software and uh, connecting it. And also we'll just take that lid off and have a closer look. <laughs>